As legend has it, the first documented risotto was made by a glassblower's apprentice around 1809 uh, for a wedding feast. And ever since, it's been enjoyed and reinterpreted by chefs all over the world. When preparing an ethnic dish, the most important thing is to respect the rich cultural heritage from which it emerged. And a great way to do that is to learn a few words of the language. Buongiorno uh, means good morning. Buona sera uh, means good night. A cavalla is a horse. But we both have the exact same word for limousine and pepperoni. And if anyone is rushing you, just kindly say un momento, and that should solve the problem. If it's your first time making risotto, you'll want to research who the best in the world is and see how they do it. Based on the videos you find, it seems like you need to be in a completely tranquil, uh, zen state in order to do it well. There always been a certain charm about risotto, but charm by itself doesn't cut it. You need the perfect texture. You need the perfect flavor. It also seems like having a risotto journal uh, helps a lot, because you need a place to sketch your dream risotto uh, and take notes during the process. But if you don't personally know any competitive chefs, it might be a good idea to uh, just ask around to see if anyone knows how to cook it. So when you're walking around your neighborhood, just keep your eyes uh, peeled for any Italian flags. And if you see one, just start walking towards it, and hopefully someone near the flag will know how to cook it. Do you know how to make risotto? Risotto is actually my, one of my favorite dishes. Oh, really? And if you ask nicely, he might actually give you a lesson in his kitchen, just for you, one-on-one. -on -one. Your stock has to be really good. Oh, yeah? Because if it's not, what kind, of, what kind of rice do you use? Uh, you have to use alboro. There's no choice. Monica, we need, we need the, the alboro rice right up here. Okay, I'm coming. I think, I think it's still downstairs. I do butter. I do butter and olive oil. Extra virgin. Has to be. Okay. Here we go. We do the old... Oh, I'm so sorry. I've been doing this for many, many years. I don't measure anything. Monica, I need the small cutting board under the sink, please. Bam, bam, bam. You have to constantly stir. Bam, parmigiano reggiano. You have to use that cheese. Okay. Hold on. Don't distract me. Okay. You need sea salt. Okay. Sea salt. Okay. Monica, is my is my, uh, my white pepper up here? No, I think it's downstairs. Okay, thank you. You gotta follow the rules, but you also gotta make your own rules that work for you. It's not, it's not one size fits all, my friend. Okay, so. This is how you make a result. And after the lesson, if you're lucky, uh, he may also show you some of his artwork that he made. Now, this is the Southwest. This is like, like uh, the petroglyphs, uh, Arizona. I believe there was also, you know, alien beings over there that, that, that gave us a little bit more knowledge. In, this is in a, Arizona? Arizona? Yeah, all, all over. You know, the Aztecs, the Incas. They wait. They're in the, the the aliens like. Well, we, like, I, I think we are. We have definitely been. My dear, we have been impregnated by. Uh, we have some. We are actually the aliens.